OG Ananobi is ready to return for the New York Knicks. He just went through a full practice with no limitations. And now he's waiting for one last thing before he can return to the court for the Knicks. The Knicks are also doing the Garden of Dreams Foundation again this year. And one of the prizes you can bid on is absolutely insane. We're going to break down exactly what it is and so much more today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now and make sure you have notifications turned on so you don't miss a second of the new content. And now, let's get started. OG Ananobi is waiting for the doctors to clear him in order for him to return to the court for the New York Knicks. Now, we already knew OG was taking contact. He was doing five on five, but we didn't know if he was limited during practice. But thankfully, SNY NBA insider Ian Bagley gave us the following update. And when I read it, it put a huge smile on my face because I knew it meant OG Ananobi was returning very, very soon for the New York Knicks. According to Ian Bagley, with OG Ananobi now practicing without limitations, he's at the final step of rehab, getting cleared by the New York Knicks doctor slash medical staff. Just see how he responds the next day after a practice. The doctor clears him, then he can go. That's according to head coach Tom Thibodeau. But Ian Bagley wasn't done there. He continues and states the following. Tom Thibodeau said, OG Ananobi did quite a lot on Thursday in practice. He didn't want to speculate on if Ananobi would be back within the next two games. The last hurdle again is for Ananobi to be cleared by the medical staff. Shout out to Ian Bagley for giving us this update about OG Ananobi. I already knew that he was close to returning, but hearing that he went through practice without any limitations and that the only thing he's waiting for right now is for the medical staff to clear him is absolutely huge news for the Knicks. OG is one of their best defenders. They traded away a lot of assets to get the wing that they've always needed in OG. And let's not forget, when OG was playing for the New York Knicks, his plus minus was one of the best in the league. That means when he steps on the floor for the Knicks, he almost always has a positive impact. And anybody watching him when he was playing for the Knicks absolutely knows that. He's on that court to defend. He does it at a high level. But he also can score the ball, not only in transition, not only with mid-range shots. The way he shoots that three ball, especially from the corners, is just sensational. If I'm not mistaken, I believe he shoots the three ball from the corners at about 50% or higher. That is just insane. That means if you leave him open or you even give him a kind of open shot from the corner, he's likely going to get that ball in. That means the Knicks are benefiting from it, and they're going up some. That's what you want to see. The Knicks with OG Ananobi on the floor for them is a game changer, not only defensively, but clearly offensively. They have another player they can lean on, another player they can give the ball to, especially when the pressure's on Jalen Brunson or maybe even Dante DiVincenzo. And that means defenses have to collapse on OG, making the game easier on Jalen or Dante or whoever else is in the game trying to make an impact. That's what OG Ananobi gives you. And you can put OG Ananobi on the opposing team's best player and you can give that player a headache all night long because OG Ananobi is basically annoying on defense. He follows the ball, follows his man, is always draped over his player, defending them at a high level and making sure each and every play they're feeling that defensive effort. And not a lot of players in the NBA can deal with OG Ananobi on defense. A lot of times, they would rather pass that ball out and let another player try to beat them on the floor. Let another player try to take over. And if you're the New York Knicks, that's exactly what you're hoping for. Let's say you're playing the Boston Celtics and OG Ananobi is guarding Jason Tatum. And Jason Tatum's having an off night because he's being guarded by OG. You want him to pass the ball to a Jalen, to a Kristaps Porzingis, or to another player on that floor. Because Jason Tatum, when he's on, is one of the best players in the NBA. If you can stop him for the Boston Celtics, you might be able to stop the Celtics. That is a statement. You have a player in OG Ananobi who can take on any player on the floor. And all you have to do as Tom Thibodeau is give him that defensive assignment. 
and he won't complain. He won't say anything. He'll take it, he'll lock in, and he'll remain focused. That's OG Ananobi. The Knicks need him back, and according to these reports, they're going to get him back very, very soon. The only thing they're waiting on is for the doctors to clear him. He's went through a full practice. They need to see how he feels a day after the practice, if he feels good. And look at OG Ananobi. Look at the physical specimen OG Ananobi is. He's going to feel good after this practice. Once that happens, the doctors are going to clear him. He's going to come back for the Knicks, and he's going to make a statement the second he steps foot on the floor for the New York Knicks. Mark my words. OG coming back is a massive win for this Knicks team. Win a dinner with Leon Rose in World Wide West? That's right, folks. You didn't hear me read that wrong. Each and every year, the Garden of Dreams Foundation gives Knicks fans unique items to bid on to try to raise money for the Knicks community and obviously for these kids that are suffering from so many different illnesses and diseases. It's a great thing to be a part of. I got to say, though, this year has probably given us the most interesting item to bid on yet. Let's take a look at exactly what you win if you bid on the following item. Shout out to the account New York Basketball on the app X for giving us the following information. One of the items you can bid on for the Garden of Dreams Foundation charity auction is the following. Bidding's at 5000 for a dinner experience with Leon Rose and William Wesley. According to the post, Two guests to enjoy dinner with Knicks front office executives, Leon Rose and William Wesley. Two 100-level seats. Watch warm-ups from courtside seating and post-game photo on court. Video cameras strictly prohibited during the experience. The fair market value of this package is $10,000. You can find details at the Knicks slash Garden of Dreams charity auction at one.bidpal.net. We're going to leave this link in the description in case any one of you guys want to go ahead and bid for this particular experience. I know what you guys are going to say in the comments. Troy, did you bid? Did you put a bid in for this particular experience? I would have. Honestly, I truly would have. The only reason I did it is because of one fact that they stated that I didn't like. As you can clearly see there, video cameras strictly prohibited during the experience. That's the only issue for me. I would want to record the experience. I'd want to get it on video camera or at least get an audio recording of it. I want to get something of it to remember it by. A photo alone is not going to do it justice. And of course, after the experience, I could come on camera. I could probably talk about it. But you know what? They would probably have me sign a release saying there are certain things I could talk about and certain things I'm not allowed to talk about. And for me, I wouldn't want my content to be limited in that way where I couldn't share the experience in the way I wanted to, or I would be limited because I signed something that made me limited to do so. So I wouldn't want to put myself in that situation. Also, I think the last time I checked the bidding, it was about 5,500 already. So I can't even imagine what it is right now. And if it goes up to six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000, There is no way I'm trying to get an experience that I can't share or I'd be limited to share with Leon Rose and World Wide West. So if you don't want to do the dinner experience, you honestly don't have to. There are so many other items on that website that you could bid on to give back to the Knicks community, give back to the Garden of Dreams Foundation, and also get something that you might cherish a little bit more than maybe the dinner experience. But the dinner experience is there that you could bid on if you want to experience it. And honestly, it's the most unique item I've ever seen. I can't remember the last time something like this was offered. So if you're interested in it, the link is in the description. Go ahead, click on it, bid on it. And if you win, I'm on Twitter. DM me and let me know because I would love to hear how your experience was, how it went with Leon and World Wide West and all of those things. So please, if you do win, let me know. But that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. And please let me know in the comments what you feel about OG Ananobi, him returning to the court, and also this experience, this very unique experience that you could bid on to gain a dinner with Leon Rose and World Wide West. Let me know in the comments below, guys, because honestly, I would love to hear from you. But don't forget to smash that like button, leave a comment below, and of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. 
Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.